In this section, we're going to be covering the back fist and punch combination. So the back fist is a little bit different from some of the other techniques in that you're using the back of the hand to strike towards the target. Not the front, not the knife hand, back of the hand. So we're going to do it together slowly. We're going to add the reverse punching as well, so back fist and cross. Um, we'll start with the intention bow. So it's together. Bow. Ready position. So we're going to start with one leg forward. You can decide on whichever leg you want forward, left or right, doesn't really matter too much. As long as whichever leg is in front, that is your lead side. So you're going to use that side of the body first. Hands up in front in this position. Now, from here, this is my lead arm. I'm going to use that one to strike first, so it comes on top of my other arm. I'm going to class this bit as number one. When I strike out, I'm going to strike out the back of my hand. Notice how it's this part here striking, and it's about head height, about the temple area. Then I'm going to twist, punch the middle. So again, slowly. So first we've got cross over, one. Then I strike out, two. Chambering this other arm ready for the next move, three. Again, notice how I push my hip forward, and that's my back foot on the ball of my foot. This allows me a bit of extra reach, but also a bit more power in that move as well. So, let's do this together. First move, across the shoulder. One, elbows meet. Next bit, strike out in front. Two, then we're gonna strike forward with the other hand, and a big shot, ready? Three, and back again. So let's try again slowly. One, two, three, and return. One, two, three, return. One, two, Three, return, last go slowly. One, two, three, return. Both moves this time, one count. I'm only gonna shout on the last one we do. So, hands up here, first move, second move, bring your hands back. One, two, three, four. On this last one, big shout on that punch. Four. Excellent, well done. Change legs and arms, exactly the same again. Lead arm, you're going to strike it first, back arm is going to punch. So first we'll just slowly together, cross the arms over, one, strike out, head high, two, twist and punch the middle, three, return, one, two, and return, one, two, return. One, two, return. This time, nice and fast, we five times. One count, both moves, ready? One, two, three, four. Big shout on this one now, ready? Four. Perfect. Ready position, attention position, and back. In this section, we're going to be covering the middle blocks. Now, if you have seen some of the other videos, uh, you'll notice that I would have been stepping forward to the middle blocks and then adding some extra moves on. Uh, this bit is going to be purely for positive start students. So, we're going to start at the beginning. Tension about. Tidy up. Come right. To me, hands in front. Now, we're going to put one hand behind your back. I don't mind which arm you use. It's up to you. Your left or your right. It's entirely up to you. As long as you can follow along, then it doesn't really matter too much. Now, first of all, we're going to bring the arms in front of us to our hip. So that's where we're going to start it from. So it comes across. We're going to finish the block in front about eyes height with your knuckles. Notice how my arm bends in the middle, it's low down, my arm isn't straight, and I can just see over the tops of my knuckles and then bring it back down the same way it came. So the hip and back to the start again. So we'll try and do this a couple of times together slowly and then we'll add a bit of speed to it later. So first of all, bring it to your hip. One, block into the middle. Two, make sure it's in the middle. And then back down to the start. One to the hip, to the middle, and return. One, two, return. See if you can go straight past your hip this time. We'll do it five times. Ready? One, and return. Two, and return, three, and return, four, and return, 
five, and return. Change your arms, I'll try the other side, exactly the same, nothing different. So the hand that's in front now goes to your hip. So it's one, up in the middle, two, again about eyes height, we're going up course, you can just see over the top of them. You don't go too high, because then you can't really see past your arm. Obviously if it's over here, then you're not going to be blocking the middle. So you've got to finish it at eyes height. Back down the same way came. Onto the hip, to the middle, and return back. One, two, return back. One, two, return back. This time we do five times, a bit quicker. Go straight past your hip. Ready? One, and return. Two, and return. Three, and return. Four, and return on this one. Make it fast. Five, and return. Both hands in front now. So again, this is the tricky bit about it. You're gonna try and change from one arm to the other arm. So, start with both hands in front. Then decide which arm, it's up to you which arm you use, but decide which arm you're gonna be tucked up. So one at the side of your body, one in front of you. The first move we're gonna practice is the block, okay? So, we're gonna say one, put to your hip, and then two, finish in the middle. So that's where you wanna be starting from. Now, the arm that's tucked up, that is the arm we're going to focus on now. So that one comes across the body as one. The arm in front is blocking already, in number two. We're going to pull that one back to our side. Two. The arm that is down at your hip is number three, blocking the middle. So we're doing these three separate counts. Nice and slow to start with. Ready? The arm tucked up. One. The one in front of you. Two. The one to your hip. Three. Same again slowly. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now the trick is to try and switch both arms at the same time. So let's see if we can do this together. Nice and quick. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, we do five more, a bit faster, and then a big shout on number five. Ready? One, two, three, four. On this one, big shout. Five! Very good. All right, ready position, hands in front. Attention position. And back. So in this section we are covering the front snap kicks. Um, this is a very simple kick aimed at also beginners and positive start students. Um, so it should be quite easy to follow along. We do it on both sides of the body, so left side and right side. I'm going to break it down so we can explain how we're going to do it. So, toes together first, demonstrate the bow. Ready position. Now, again it's up to you which leg you use, left or right, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to start on my right leg. It's up to you if you want to start with your strongest leg or your weakest leg, but one leg behind you, having your hands up in this position. So the back leg, all I want to do to start off with is just bring your leg up, you're going to hold it for a couple of seconds and then bring your leg down again. The reason I want you to bring your knee up is because I don't want you to just flick your leg out doing this. If you're going to lift your knee up, you're going to pull your toes back as far as you can. So when we kick, you're going to strike the ball of the foot up front. So first of all, just bring that knee up, and then back down again. We're gonna hold it for a couple of seconds and then drop it down. You ready? One, and back down again. So you contract that body in as you bring it up. Two, and back down again. Three, and back down again. Four, and back down again. One more time slowly. Five, and back down again. Now we're gonna add the kick. So once you've brought your leg up, you're then gonna extend your leg out forward. Use the ball of the foot and use the hip to push it forward as well. So it's not just the weight of your leg kicking. So, from here, knee up first, push it forwards. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Big shout on this one. Five. Perfect. Change your legs. Do exactly the same again, lift your leg up, we're gonna do it three times, and then put our leg back down again, hold each one for a couple of seconds. So you ready? One, and back down again. Try to lift those toes right up. Two, and back down again. 
three, and down again. So now we're going to add the full extension of the leg. Knee up first, push it forwards, curl the toes back, back down again. If you have somebody at home that has a pad or something you can hold on, they can hold on to, have a practice at these kicks on the pads. Also, if you haven't, just be careful. So knee up, kick forwards, ready, one, and down again. Two, and down again. Three, four, on this last one, loud shout. Huh. Perfect. Ready position. So when we do these kicks, the important bits are really, remember, lift the knee up, make sure you're not flicking your leg out, curl your toes back, so you strike the ball of your foot and not your toes. And if you um, need to start your kicks low down, start them low, and then build the height up to a point where you can get it as high as you can. You can use different stretching techniques, obviously in some other videos we have, which will allow you to get that flexibility, which will then help you get those higher kicks as well. Okay, well done today. Toes together, and do a bow. Okay, so in this section, we're going to be covering one of the self-defense grabs. This is going to be a two onto two wrist grab. So both have your wrists are being grabbed by somebody. Um, we're going to start it uh, slowly so that you can follow along with it, and then we'll speed it up towards the end. Before we do that though, attention and bow. Toes together, and bow. So, you're going to start with both hands out in front of you. I want you to have your hands closed to begin with. That's important for the next part. So, the first count I'm going to do slowly so you can see what I'm going to do first. Open up my hands. This allows my wrists to be a little bit bigger, but then it also allows the person grabbing you to be able to create a gap between their finger and thumb that's grabbing. So I open my hands, then I turn the palm of my hands. This allows me to get the thinnest part of my wrist towards the gap that you've just created. Then I'm going to step forward. That's up to you which leg you step with. I'm going to be stepping with my right leg. So it's up to you if you use your left or your right. The one thing I will say though is this. As you step forwards, that side of the body, you want that hand to come up. So that's the next move. So I'm going to step with my right. So from here, open, twist, and step. My right hand is going to come up, breaking free. I'm almost like I'm pushing my elbow forwards. Then the other hand does the same, except it comes across the body instead. So now I'm in this position, with my arms in this shape. What does this shape look like? That's right, it's an L shape. So now I'm going to twist back in, and just strike towards the neck, using my hips to rotate my body. This hand strikes to the neck. This other hand, you could aim towards the ribs if there's a gap, or just have it as a guard. So, same again. Open, twist, I step forward, one hand comes up, again, whichever leg is forward, have that same side. Other hand come across, then I'm going to twist back in and strike at the neck. That's the main one, really. You want to strike at the neck, and if there's a gap, you can aim for the ribs as well. So, all the way through. Hands in front, so you can do it with me now. You ready? Open. Twist the palms down. Take a step forward. One hand come up, other one across, chop towards the neck. Perfect. Back again. So then slowly together. Open, twist, step forward, one hand up, other hand across, chop back in. Bring it one more time slowly. Open, twist, step forward, one arm up, one arm across, strike back in. Five times now. All the way through. I'm going to shout for the very last one. You ready? One. Perfect. Back again. Two. So again, use your imagination as you're doing this strike. So if you're not going to partner to help you with this, and if you have got a partner with you, don't hurt them, don't hit them. Uh, but if you haven't, you're going to imagine there's somebody there. Again, ready? Three. And back again. Four. Back again. On this last one, I'm going to add a loud shouting. Ready? Fuck! Perfect. Well done. Tension about, toe touching, and bow. 